How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And thank you to everybody who wished me luck or sent kind words to me in regards to my surgery. Of course, the one day that I have surgery, Sony and Marvel decide to drop the official title for Spider-Man 3, something we've been waiting for for over a year now. But Spider-Man No Way Home is our official title, and I do have some thoughts about this, specifically in regards to the timing of the release of the official title. And not to mention all of the clues on that whiteboard that was shown to us during Tom Holland's video. That combined with new photos from Spider-Man 3 that were officially released by Tom Holland, and the fact that Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, did confirm that WandaVision is going to connect directly to Spider-Man No Way Home, lead me to believe that there could be a big reveal coming up in WandaVision episode 8 or for the finale in regards to how this all connects to Spider-Man directly. Because they confirmed that WandaVision actually takes place before the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. So how does WandaVision connect to Spider-Man No Way Home, which is going to take place even more down the line? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about the timing of the release of the official title for Spider-Man 3, No Way Home. They released it kind of right at the peak of the WandaVision series. We only have two episodes left, and we had a huge reveal last episode. So why release the official title now? Why not wait till after the series has ended? Well, it would make sense that they would release the official title now because it actually has something to do with what's about to happen in the WandaVision series. Now, when they released the official title on the whiteboard, there were a bunch of different names that were potential names for Spider-Man No Way Home. And as I think many of you know, I've been pitching for Spider-Man Homeworlds, which they wrote out and marked boring, which I think is actually a pretty good joke on all of us who were predicting Spider-Man Homeworlds. And they wrote boring as a joke because obviously a Spider-Man movie that's going to involve three different Spider-Man and possibly even more is not going to be boring at all, which kind of leads me to believe that they're kind of trying to throw us off a little bit and that's actually what's happening. But again, the Spider-Verse has not yet been confirmed, just heavily hinted at. And of course we have reports from insiders who have been right about a lot of things in the past, so we'll have to wait and see. But ironically enough, there are hexagons all over this board. Now, this could be another joke by Marvel Studios and Sony because they know that we're looking way deep into WandaVision around these hexagons that have been popping up everywhere. But to me, it does seem like this is actually a connection because if we take a step back and look at everything as a whole, everything does seem to connect. WandaVision is going to go directly into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But before Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness comes out, we are going to get Spider-Man No Way Home in which Doctor Strange is confirmed to be in. Then, as I mentioned, Kevin Feige did say WandaVision will connect directly into Spider-Man No Way Home. So they truly are connected, but what is the actual connection? Well, it has to be the multiverse. So it seemed like this whiteboard was kind of trying to tell us that, hey, look, Spider-Man 3 is not going to really be about a multiverse film, but at the same time, it kind of has to be because that's what WandaVision is setting up and WandaVision goes into Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, again, the fact that there is a hex and actually a few hexes on this board point us to the connection between Spider-Man No Way Home and WandaVision. So what is that connection? Well, I believe that at the end of WandaVision, she is going to break open the multiverse and this will start the events of No Way Home. And there actually is an Easter egg slash reference in Spider-Man Far From Home that backs up this theory. In Spider-Man Far From Home, Nick Fury and Maria Hill, or should I say Talos and his wife, when talking with Mysterio and Tom Holland Spider-Man trying to explain what is happening, they say that Mysterio is from a different universe and they mention the multiverse. Now this would ultimately end up to be not true, Mysterio was lying. However, they believed him. Talos and his wife, who are incredibly intelligent beings, believe Mysterio about the multiverse, and this is most likely because the events of WandaVision bursted open. More evidence of this at the end was the fact that J. Jonah Jameson, the same one from the Daily Bugle and the original Spider-Man trilogy, was now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Why cast the same exact person to play the same exact character if it's not going to be from that same universe? This is evidence that the multiverse truly is present in Spider-Man. Spider-Man Far From Home and is going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. So what could we see from WandaVision that's going to lead us towards Spider-Man Far From Home and eventually No Way Home? Well, I believe that we could get something in a post credit scene. We're already going to be getting that big secret cameo in episode 8 or 9. It shouldn't be a post credit scene because Paul Bettany talked about working with this person and he talked about how well they worked together and how they clicked. So it's obviously not going to be for a post credit scene because it's going to be for a scene or scenes much longer than that. 
from that. But Marvel does a great way of setting up future films in post credit scenes. This is what they do. And yes, WandaVision leads into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but first has to come Spider-Man No Way Home. So it actually makes sense that WandaVision's post credit scene could be about Spider-Man. And if we take a look at one of the photos from Spider-Man No Way Home that Tom Holland released, it actually looks like Peter, MJ, and Ned are actually in Doctor Strange's sanctum. And in another photo, we can see that the three of them are looking up at a person, and we can actually see that person's shadow. This is most likely Doctor Strange, since he is confirmed to have a role in Spider-Man No Way Home as Peter's mentor. Now, of course, we could speculate all day long that this could actually be Daredevil, or it could be Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, or Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. But I think given the fact that the other photo looks like all three of them are actually in the sanctum, it is most likely Doctor Strange. But if we look at this photo, it looks like the sanctum is not really in good shape. Not really quite sure what happened to it, but we can assume that there's going to be some big villain at the end of WandaVision, and there have been a lot of rumors and reports that Doctor Strange will show up in WandaVision. So we know we have Agatha Harkness, and we know that she's not going to be working alone. She has the Darkhold book, and she's taken Wanda's twins. She clearly has plans, and it seems like those plans are to summon an even greater villain. This could be Chathon, Mephisto, Nightmare, any one of those, and all of which are actually Doctor Strange's response. Responsibility. Not to mention, as you may have caught in one of my last videos, it looks like Agatha Harkness took the Darkhold from the Sanctum from Doctor Strange and Wong, so he's most likely going to be looking for Agatha because of the Darkhold book as well. Plus, I'm sure he senses what is happening with Wanda, so if Doctor Strange shows up in WandaVision, that's another reason why the post credit scene may not actually be for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It would make sense that the post credit scene would actually be Doctor Strange and maybe Wanda with him interacting with Tom Holland, Spider-Man, and possibly possibly, since the multiverse will be a part of it, maybe even more Spider-Man. I think this would be the perfect way to tease the connection between all three movies and possibly even tease the Spider-Verse if they decided to throw another Spider-Man in there. And what better way to promote WandaVision than to have an insane post credit scene like that in it. And then at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, they can do a post credit scene setting up Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which will involve Doctor Strange, Wanda, and of course, the multiverse. I personally think that there's a high possibility that this could be what we're going to get. I think it makes a lot of sense for Marvel to go down this route, but let me know what you all think about this theory in the comments down below. Again, who do you think that secret cameo was going to be? What villain do you think Agatha Harkness is going to summon? And what do you think we'll see in the post credit scene? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest WandaVision or Spider-Man news. Again, I want to say thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for everybody who was offering their thoughts, their prayers, their kind words to me yesterday when I had my surgery. Thanks for showing Chris some love in the video that he did. And yes, I will be doing a watch party tonight. So you can join me here on my channel about 15 to 10 minutes before WandaVision actually starts. We can all watch together if you have Disney+. Plus. For live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.